The average student takes notes at a rate of one-third of a word per second. The average teacher speaks about two to three words per second. Bottom line, if you're trying to copy down everything your teacher is saying while he drones on about Shakespeare, you're going to fall seriously behind. Note-taking is an important skill in and out of school. It can make the difference between passing and failing a test, excelling at a job, or even enjoying a complicated movie. And most of us don't do it well. Welcome to WellCast. We took a viewer suggestion for this week's episode, The Art of Note-Taking. We're going to give you a three-step method for taking notes that will actually help you learn. Numerous studies over the years have proven what's already pretty obvious. People who take notes remember the material better than those who don't. But how much better? A 1970 study by developmental psychologist Michael Howe found that students were seven times more likely to remember facts one week after hearing them if they took notes. But here's the thing. Most people don't know how to take notes. We're taught from a very young age that when a teacher starts delivering a load of information, for example, Shakespeare described Romeo and Juliet's love as star-crossed. That we should start writing down as much as what they're saying as possible. Phew! Well, this is an incredibly inefficient way to take notes. Why? You're not actually learning anything. You're simply acting as a human audio recorder. A recorder, by the way, that only picks up one out of every ten words. And you're saving the learning for later, when you'll have an even less complete lesson plan to look over. Note-taking should actually act as a form of learning. Something that helps you work your way through the lesson as the teacher is giving it, so that when you leave the classroom, you already understand the concepts. So how do you do that? We have a three-step method for taking the kind of notes that force you to learn the material inside the classroom and not out. Pause and print this sheet and put it in your binder, ready for your next class. Finished? Okay, let's go. Step one, don't write down facts. Write down conclusions. Don't worry about capturing every single thing your teacher is saying. Spend more time listening and trying to understand the lecture. When you do start writing, format your notes as a series of questions posed by the teacher's lecture and fill in your own answers. For example, question, what is the central theme in Romeo and Juliet? Conclusion, more than being a tragic love story, Romeo and Juliet is about the consequences of deeply held grudges. This way, you're recording the importance of what the teacher is saying and not just raw facts. When you do need to include data, Add only the most important points under each question. This is the evidence for each question's answer. Step two, use colored pens. Yeah, that's right. This will help you remember your notes visually. Also, if you establish a set template for your notes, you'll be able to take them more efficiently. Write questions in red and definitions in blue, conclusions in green. Step three, review your notes. Don't relearn them. Spend at least 10 minutes organizing your notes after class. If you want to test your comprehension, try teaching the material to a classmate. This will be a great marker to see if you've actually learned anything. Note-taking is a valuable life skill that doesn't lose its utility when you graduate. Find ways to integrate note-taking in your daily life. You'll soon find yourself in the exclusive and creative group of people who bring out their moleskins at lectures, movies, and TED Talks. All right, Willcasters, let's recap. Today we learned how to take notes in a way that ensures you learn the material during class time and not after. First, write down your conclusions instead of a barrage of facts. Second, use your questions to make connections. And third, spend 10 minutes going over these notes at the end of class. And if you should choose, try going over these notes by teaching them to a classmate or a friend. Hey, who was that lady? Uh, okay, did these tips help? Let us know. Or if you have a wellness topic that you'd like to see covered, shoot us an email. We'd love to see your notes. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.